In this presentation, we will see about in in SQL. Is there a grammar mistake? No. I'm going to focus on the keyword in in SQL. And that's why I have named the lecture like this. Let's start the session with the basics. Why do we need this keyword in? Actually, this keyword is used to specify multiple values. Say, for example, we want to retrieve the records and we are going to obviously prefer select DML command. Now with select in order to filter we can use where. Say for example we want to retrieve the records from the table where city is either Chennai or Mumbai. In such case we will specify city is equal to Chennai or city is equal to Mumbai. In case we want to retrieve the records of multiple values in the condition. In such case we can go for the keyword in. And this is equivalent to using multiple or conditions. And we obviously know it is going to be used with where condition or where clause. Let's see the syntax now. The syntax is select column 1, comma, column 2, comma, column 3 up to column n from table name where we'll specify the condition, right? The condition here is column name or column in the keyword in in parenthesis just specify the list separated by comma and we know all SQL statements end with a semicolon. I'll give you one example. Select star from student where city in in parenthesis, in single quotes Sydney, comma, in single quotes Brisbane, comma, in single quotes Perth. What do we mean by this? We are going to retrieve all the columns from the table student where the city is Sydney or Brisbane or Perth. As mentioned, it is equivalent to the following command. Select star from student where city is equal to Sydney or city is equal to Brisbane or city is equal to Perth. The problem with or is Suppose we have a list with 50 values. It's easier to specify 50 values here in the list instead of going for this option by separated with or 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 just think city is equal to Sydney or city is equal to Brisbane or city is equal to Perth or so on. And that's why in is handy where we have a list with multiple values. Let's see an example. Let's bring in the same employee table and the example is select asterisk from employee where city in Ranchi, New Delhi, Bangalore. Remember all these type are string type and that's why I am enclosing single quotes before and after the value. In case we are going to check for ID, then we can directly use the values like 101, 103, 105, whatever we wanted. And what will be the output of this? The output of this is going to be the rows that has the city, Ranchi or New Delhi or Bangalore. So the output is going to be the rows that contain city, New Delhi, Bangalore and Ranchi. Suppose I want the rows where the city is not Ranchi or New Delhi or Bangalore. In that case, how to easily do this? Simply, I want to negate this output. In such case, we can simply use a negating keyword. What is the negating keyword in SQL? It's not. Just see, the same employee table. But the query here is, select asterisk from employee where city not space in Ranchi, New Delhi, Bangalore. So the output is going to be other cities than Ranchi, New Delhi and Bangalore. I hope things are clear to you now. In order to make things interesting, now I am going to bring in a nested query. What is a nested query? We have not seen about this. Anyway, we are going to see that elaborately. But for now, you just understand a query inside another query is called as a nested query. Don't worry. Let's see the example. The same employee table. But here I am bringing in one additional table which is the table called final. And this final table contains only two columns, city and country, where city contains three values and its corresponding country. Brisbane is in Australia, Bangalore is in India and Ottawa in Canada. Now what is the query? The query is select asterisk from employee. So we are going to retrieve all columns from which table? Employee table where city in. So we are going to specify the list, right? After in, we need to open a parenthesis. And inside the parenthesis, there will be a list. But we have not supplied the list directly. Rather, what we have given is a nested query. This is the outer query. And this outer query contains an inner query, this. And what is the query? Select city from final. So we have a table final and we are going to retrieve only city column. So here the list contains only city from which table? Final table. And what are the three values that will be available here? Brisbane, Bangalore and Ottawa. So the list will contain now only these three values. And this in takes only these three values 
and that's why it is able to produce this output which contains only city as Bangalore because the city value what it contains is having Brisbane, Bangalore and Ottawa and only Bangalore is available in this employee table and there are no entries for Brisbane and Ottawa and that's why the final table contains all the rows that contain city as Bangalore. Before we sign out, let's see the homework question. I'm showing two tables, employee and final. And I'm going to give you a query. The query is select star from employee where city in the nested query, select city from final. And I'm saying this is the output that we will get when we execute this query. I request you to pause this video for a while and check the output what I have depicted on the screen is correct or incorrect. After finding out the answer, I request you to post your answers in the comment section. And that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation and thank you for watching.